Welcome to Sage Pastel Payroll's How to Set Up a Monthly Hourly Rate Employee video. Navigate to Edit, Employee Master File. Then click on the Rates tab. You will notice that on new employees, the rate values will be set to zero. These values will automatically be calculated once the payslip has been processed. Because this is a monthly paid employee, we need to firstly tell the system that this employee will be paid hourly. You will do this by ticking the hourly paid checkbox. In order to set up the rate correctly, you need to know what the employee's working days are, so navigate to the working days tab. Take note of the rates for the monthly paid employee, you need to check the employee's average hours per day and their days per month. The quantity of hours per month is calculated by multiplying the average hours per day and the average days per month. Once you have noted the average hours per day and the days per month, you can navigate to this employee's payslip. Ensure that the code 5002 has been entered on the default tab of the payslip. The monthly hourly rate is calculated by multiplying the average hours per day and the average days per month to get to the quantity of hours per month. Once you have this quantity, you will multiply it with the employee's contractual rate per hour. To get to the quantity, we will take 8 hours from the master file and multiply it by 21.67. You will now enter the calculated quantity in the quantity column of the default tab. This employee is being paid a contractual rate of 102 Rand per hour. To calculate the amount, you will take the quantity that we calculated and multiply it by the contractual rate, in this case 173.36 hours multiplied by the rate of 102 Rand per hour. The amount that you calculated will now be entered to the Amount column of the Default tab. Press Enter until you get to the next line on the Default tab. Then click on Yes to add the amount to the Income tab. You will now see that the Rate column will now display the contractual rate that we've used in our calculation. It is important to note to never change the quantity of hours on the default tab and only change the quantity of hours on the income tab to adjust the hours to the hours that appear on the clock card system or on the employee's timesheets. And that's how you set up your monthly hourly paid employees. Thank you for watching our video. Reach out to us on our SoundCloud platform.